Last class, we were discussing about some important scholars who contributed for the emergence of sociology. And these scholars are philosophers. These scholars are biologists. These scholars are even psychologists. So, sociology is a product of or it is the child of many parents. Philosophy, biology, immensely contributed to sociology. So, one who studied humanities will love this subject. One who studied science also will love this subject. And this is the reason why people across their uh, UGs or PGs, cutting across their uh, degrees, they are choosing this as their optional. Doctor has chosen this, engineers have chosen this, arts people have chosen this, science people have chosen this. And this is because this subject is a product of many subjects. So everybody will have something in this subject. You study any university degree, you have something relevant in this subject which makes this subject as a lovable subject for many UPSC aspirants. That is why this subject is one of the most popular plus the top ranking optional when it comes to success rate. 10 percentage of the students with sociology clear this examination. Highest success rate is 10 percentage that is sociology. Now, I will give you a term which is very interesting. The term was given by C. W. Mills. And this term is called as sociological imagination. What do you mean by sociological imagination? Very interesting, very important. What do you mean by this term sociological imagination? Simple things you see, no ordinary routine things you see and you try to find the sociological explanation for that. A very routine thing you see and you find sociological explanation for that. That is what is called as sociological imagination. I face a personal trouble, for example. I am connecting that personal trouble with society or social problem. So it may be my personal problem, but I am connecting that personal problem with the larger social problem. So connecting the personal problem with social problem is sociological imagination. Without sociological imagination, I will not understand my personal problem. Without sociological imagination, I will not understand my social problem or personal problem. Take for example, we just uh, uh, come across this. Not many girl students will prefer IPS as their first choice. Yes or no? In fact, many of my students have put 0, 0 in IPS. So you just think that I don't like IPS. Why? Because it is not good for girls. It's, it's good only for boys, not for girls. Right. Why? You say, I don't like IPS. You are a girl. You say, I don't like IPS. You think that it is your personal choice. 
but you don't understand how did you make your personal choice your personal choice was decided by society society is a male dominated society patriarchal society okay patri means male archi means power patriarchal society patri means male archal means rule or authority so male dominated society male dominated society will not want women to be very tough because this understanding or this assumption done by male dominated society is women are very soft creatures they are emotionally weaker people those who are emotionally weak people they should not be given policing job because policing job requires tough mind and tough body women are physically weaker women are emotionally imbalanced so they cannot hold this police job is the understanding of male dominated society which is absolutely wrong but society is male dominated till 1980 till 1980s 30 years 3 decades after independence only first women ips officer came so three decades post independence there was no single women ips officer even though upsc did not tell that women should not apply for ips but 30 years post independence not a single women opted for ips and kiran bedi should come to tell that she is the first ips officer of independent india women ips officer of independent india an ips officer women ips officer first women ips officer you know how people celebrated her she is very brave like a male police officer she is brave like male police officer how bravery should always be associated with male whether women are very covered in the history you have jansi rani in tamil nadu history you have velu nachiyar but society is simply saying they are all exceptions they are like men which is why they fought battles kiran bedi is like a man which is why she opted ips so society is conditioning your thought and based on that you make a choice you think that it is your personal choice but that is not your personal choice that is the social choice so your personal choice of not opting ips is having its root in the social choice made by male dominated society that women should be soft women are emotionally unstable women are not rational you know you have to wait for 1920 till 1920 when america became independent america became independent in 18 in 1780s 1786 constitution of america was written 1786 okay from 1786 till 1920 women were not given voting rights in america in 1920 only women were given voting rights in america in 1928 only women were given voting rights in britain so east or west all societies are male dominated societies 
but you think that i don't opt it is not you are not opting ips it is how society is putting uh, a pressure on your mind which you are not even aware of i think my point or not you are not even aware of the fact that your choice was already made by the society so my personal choice is connected to patriarchal society i am connecting my personal things to the social things and this is what is called as sociological imagination a concept which was given by c right wells an american sociologist so today sociological imagination is very much important to understand social problems particularly me too movement have you heard about that me too movement how many of you have not heard about this me too women in the childhood days some women were sexually exploited they were not having that dareness to come out and tell because they are all children they are in the lower position if they say nobody will listen to them and they thereafter became celebrities now they are telling when i was 10 year old when i was 12 year old this person sexually assaulted me that person sexually molested me wrestlers women wrestlers are making allegation so that they were sexually abused exploited by the chairperson of the federation and that is why they are going for protest in jantar mantar delhi see understand this they are wrestlers and a man is sexually exploiting her means physically they are wrestlers only no they should throw that person away physically they are powerful only but ultimately how their physical power they are not seen by men who sexually assault them as wrestlers men saw them as just women the beauty is they themselves saw them as women they did not see themselves as wrestlers trying to understand what i am telling or not if you are not a wrestler you are a normal woman you are very weak for example you are not having the physical strength and all somebody may attempt sexually assault but you are a wrestler and man is not seeing this as a wrestler she will kill me and that women wrestler also thinks that she is only a woman there where problem comes so physically st strong women are also not uh, exempted from sexual assault by men and this is what is sociological imagination what makes them perceive that they are women only and they are not wrestlers that society you are women you are women you are women so they are wrestlers professionally but they thought that they are only women and they fear men kiran bedi was uh, in charge of traffic uh, delhi he was traffic deputy commissioner deputy commissioner of delhi police traffic Indira Gandhi was the prime minister then her car driver parked the car in the no parking zone she came and told that this is no parking zone driver told indira gandhi pm car run away from this place she issued a warning she i will lift all the cars no matter whose car it is still that car was there she ordered for the crane to come 
she lifted the prime minister's car put the car in the parking bay and went prime minister went came back and was searching for her car the car was not in the area where it was parked first he was asking where is my car and the pa says ma'am on deputy commissioner of uh, traffic she lifted your car put it in the parking zone told that you have parked the car in no parking zone and pm said tomorrow morning she should be standing in front of me to give explanation i am send her uh, the order from the prime minister that you have to be in the pm office tomorrow morning 10 o'clock then the chief of the police called kiran bedi and told tomorrow you are going to be dismissed from service for sure run away to your place you are confronting the prime minister of india so she told in a meeting that little bit i was even hesitating to see the prime minister because i was expecting that she will shout at me i went it was a surprise for me that she was expressing her happiness with my action and told to be very duty conscious irrespective of the person who may influence her don't succumb to the political influence don't fear when you do your duty i strongly appreciate you i am so happy about you so she told in that that she was popularly then then popularly she was called as crane baby not kiran baby because she will come with the crane lift the car which is parked in the no parking zone so ips officers have come only after 30 years of independence india has to wait for 30 years for kiran baby to come and today also not adequate number of ips officers are there out of 100 ips officers only two ips officers are women 98 are men so i think that this is my conscious choice that not opting, opting ips is my conscious choice my personal thing it's not your personal thing it was con- it was conditioned by your society so your personal problem if you have explanation from the social problem connecting you with the society explaining your personal problem from the social point of view is what is called as sociological imagination right so it is a very very important concept which also came in the upsc sociology question paper sociological imagination we also know that what sociology tries to do like any science what science normally does it tries to explain something which is hidden try to understand this the function of science is to reveal what is hidden science tries to reveal what is hidden meaning the law of gravity law of gravity newton came whether you know about law of gravity but you experienced from the beginning but uh, you don't know it is hidden thing what was hidden force of gravity that was revealed by newton dalton revealed atom
many scientists revealed what was not visible to you so if the function of sociology if the function of science is to reveal what is hidden the function of sociology is also to reveal what is hidden you don't know the social choice consciously so by linking your personal problem with social problem you are trying to understand what is hidden in the society so if the function of science is to reveal what is hidden the function of sociology is also to reveal what is hidden therefore sociology is what science this statement like science sociology tries to reveal what is hidden was made by a sociologist his name is pierre bourdieu his name is pierre bourdieu like the function of science is the function of sociology science tries to reveal what is hidden sociology also tries to reveal what is hidden see you are influenced by a society which you are not very conscious about also you are not conscious about how society influences you most of the girls are having long hair why not boys have you ever thought this your boy when going out of the house will just take 5 seconds to comb the hair some boys don't even comb the hair they just come like that only but as a girl how much time you spend to comb your hair your brother will wake up late but he will go to the school on time you will have to wake up early because half an hour your mother is having something to do on your head she will not leave you you say i will make loose hair and go to the school your mother will not leave even if your mother leaves your teacher will not allow so if a boy is leaving the hair uncut it also grows like this only and if you cut the hair like a boy you will also have short hair why then you are not having a short hair why only girls are sporting sporting a long hair have you ever consciously thought about this have you ever questioned your mother mother why you are allowing the brother to cut the hair and not me he is not even combing the hair why you are combing my hair for half an hour every mother having daughter will comb the hair for 45 minutes minimum and even after you go she will stop you stop you and she will do something there after also have you ever asked why it was hidden no you didn't question you didn't consciously question it was hidden in the society and now sociology is telling you to reveal what is hidden that is the role of science the function of science is to reveal what is hidden so as the function of sociology is to reveal what is hidden so pierre pierre bourdieu says that sociology is to reveal what is hidden like science elder boy will be there elder brother will be there but they try to see the bridegroom for the younger sister in most of our families yes or no boy will be 28 years of age girl will be only 21 but girl will have to get married first not the boy supposing that if the father and mother is uh, arranging they are arranging the marriage for their boy who happens to be elder than the daughter the society will criticize the parents telling that 
when daughter is there first you have to get her married why you get married your son get married your daughter first so girls has to marry girls have to marry at a early age is whether any question people raised why age difference is there between father and mother most of our father fathers and mothers father will be elderly mother will be younger yes or no why why man should be elder and women should be less age why most of the families wife's age is lesser than the husband's age anyone questioned this without applying mind itself they said okay okay you have to be sachin tendulkar to be an exception anjali tendulkar was 5 year older than sachin tendulkar you know that or not but it came in the news he is here marrying somebody who is elder which means man should be elder than the wife why why if you look at science what is the life expectancy of women life expectancy of women is more or men is more hmm? women is more no so women should marry late they will be alive for long time men will not be alive for long time so they should be married first they should go for early marriage because they will die soon why culture is defying science or not these are questions which we never raised till the point i am making till the time i am making this point you are not aware of that but you know that you are not aware of that but you know that so to make what you are unaware aware we have sociology already it is present but you are not aware of that so what sociology is doing to you making you aware of what you are unaware of you are not aware of and you are you are not aware of and now you are aware of so from unawareness to awareness if you make this transition it is called as what enlightenment no so this subject is what enlightening subject that bulb will glow now they light eriyum thirinu so subject is what making you intelligent who is intelligent who is aware of what he was not aware of so far becomes intelligent no i do not know i know so unknown to known from unknown you are going to known knowledgeable you become understood have you understood the concept of sociological imagination we saw this perspective we saw this darwin we saw saint simon we saw august comte we saw spencer we saw this huh? functionalism okay we stopped with this emile durkheim durkheim was a french scholar he was influenced by spencer so spencer is giving you an understanding that parts will come together it forms a whole 
parts will come together it forms a whole once it becomes a full thing you cannot reduce that into some of the parts very very important concept in sociology see when you are a kid i don't know that time they had this uh, building blocks and all now that small kids are having building blocks they try to you know put the related things together and they find a nice picture so you take small small blocks and you build the blocks the final thing is a picture the full picture cannot be reduced to the sum of the parts take for example you have the human body consisting of lungs heart stomach intestine bladder everything they are parts of the body but when they are combining themselves in a particular order in a particular way a human body comes can that human body be called as sum of lungs plus liver plus bladder plus intestine plus stomach plus heart can you call like that without this human body cannot form but human body is not simply sum total of these parts you will see human body as a human body or you see human body as i saw one head two legs two hands one neck on the face two eyes will you narrate like this or you say i saw a man but that man came only because of these parts but once these parts put together the man came you see the man as a man full man not as the sum of the parts very important concept so you have many parts they are combining in a particular way for example heart will be present where left side for many of the people right side for a few people okay but most of the people have heart in left part they have brain have you seen somebody having brain in the belly you have not seen no if you see try to take the photo of the person and put that photo in the museum that you have seen a person having brain in the belly brain is there only in the head you saw any person having eyes on the leg no you saw any person having three eyes and all one student said yes sir oh lord shiva i'm saying human being only two eyes have you seen anyone having two noses you know in china it happened one person who was 25 years of age he slipped and fell in his bathroom okay his nose was severely injured he has to be taken to the doctor and the doctor told that your nose has damaged it has to be reconstructed so plastic <laughs> surgery has to be done and they tried artificial nose is not fitting his face structure so the doctor had a brilliant idea he took the broken nose completely he erased the nose on the face and started growing that nose on the head of the person nose was grown on the head of the person taking some important cells from the nose doctors grew nose on the head of the person 
So the nose was growing like hair on the top of the head. After six months, when the nose has fully grown, they took the nose from the head and they placed on the face. Now that photograph came of that person having no nose on the face but on the top of the head. You cannot even recognize that this is a human face. You know who, who, what picture this is? That was the caption which was given in the newspapers. And many answered an alien species and all. No, human being only. Only thing is nose is not there. When one part called nose is not there on the face, you become an alien species. You are not a human being at all. Your face is so much drastically changed that people don't recognize you as a human being only. So that that part will have to be present in that that places. The part should be present in that place means it has to be present. If it is present, then only that part is acceptable, understandable. If that part is present in somewhere, you have seen that uh, one body, two heads. It came in the WhatsApp that these two people uh, went in a uh, in a two wheeler uh, in a two wheeler meant for the physically challenged people to the petrol station. The petrol uh, pump people were totally shocked. One body, two heads. The body is branching into two. It is like octopus for me. You cannot make that uh, person's uh, Total body only. Some head is hanging here. What he is doing, you know, he is going there. Another person is going here. One is opening the petrol tank. Another is giving currency note to the petrol bulk person. The petrol bulk person is shocked. Where to get money? Confusing. So, structure means what? A very important concept I am talking about now. Structure. Parts are there. They have to be connected in a proper way. Proper means what? What do you mean by proper? In a way which we think it is normal. In a way we think it is normal. So the face is having a structure because it has many parts and these parts are placed in a particular place. And these parts are connected to each other in a particular way. How that part will be present in that particular place, you can very well expect to know. A new child is going to be born. We always expect that the child will have only one head, having two eyes only, one nose, one mouth, two ears, two legs, two hands. So before the child is born, you can very well expect that the child will be like this only. So when you can expect that this will be there, what term you will use for that? When you expect that, it will be like this only. What term you use for that? I expect that it will be like this only. 
what term I can use for this? Normal is one. Then there is one word which if you tell me, I will be very happy. Like this only it will be. UPSC question paper will be like this only. Hmm? Model or prototype or supposed to be what term you will use for that? Supposed to be or it will be like this only. Expected hmm? perspective then natural. I am not getting your imagination then prejudice then reality. I am not getting exactly what I wanted. It will be like this only. UPSC is which examination? An examination which cannot be cracked. Up. Then why are we? Why are we sitting, discussing? You should believe that you can. It will be like this only. Pampered. Prediction, you are coming closer. What can be predicted? That is what is the answer. Normal means pattern. Pattern means what? This will be like this only. This will be connected like this only. Brain will be connected to heart in this way. Heart will be connected to kidney in this way. Kidney will be connected to lungs in this way. Lung will be connected to liver in this way. So, if the body parts pattern can be very well understood, you become a doctor. Beauty of doctor is what? The patient is going to the doctor. Doctor! There is some illness I think I have. He says go take blood test. So in the blood test his lipid level has increased a lot. And this boy was only 22 years old. I know this boy. 22 years old boy. The doctor found that his cholesterol level has increased. His especially triglyceride level has increased to 400 or 500. It has to be only 200. 500 it became. The doctor is a senior doctor. He has seen many cases. And seeing the report that a normal level, your level and all is known through the report. No, that they have started measure them. And the boy's family, they started, you know, uh, getting too much worried. They came rushing to the doctor and doctor told, Why? what is the problem? No, no, his uh, triglyceride level is so much. He saw the boy. Uh, okay, go do thyroid test. Thyroid level was more. The doctor told when thyroid level is more, triglyceride level will be more. No need to take any medicine for cholesterol, take medicine for thyroid. Problem over. He is a doctor, he is connecting thyroid with triglyceride. He knows that this is connected to that. If that is increasing, this will increase. So every specialist becomes specialist because they have understood the pattern. Even the say, I will predict UPSC sociology. 14 years we have predicted. 95 percentage of prediction becomes right. So what we try to do, we are trying to predict the pattern. Thinker's portion, 80 percentage of the question will come from thinker. It's a prediction. How I can predict? Because I'm teaching sociology for 18 years. I'm studying sociology for 23 years. So I'm making some prediction based on my long experience with this subject. So if you can predict the pattern, if you can predict the pattern in that particular field, you become the expert in that field. So, as a doctor, you try to predict the pattern present in the human body parts. As a sociologist, you try to predict the 
pattern present in the society. So body is equal to society. Who said this? Organism is equal to society. Like organism is having parts, society also has parts. Like organism is living, society is also a living thing. This is called as organismic analogy and that was given by Herbert Spencer. So Spencer was giving us a good understanding of structure that this part is connected to that part. This species is connected to that species. If this is happening, that will happen. He is the first person to speak about structure. He is a biologist. So structure means pattern. Structure means order. Structure means regularity. This hall is having a structure or not? This classroom is having a structure or not? Tell me. Like any classroom, there is a door. You open the door. Like any classroom, it is having chairs. Like any classroom, it is having a dais. It is having a board. It is having a teacher. The pattern is here. What pattern? All students will sit luxuriously and listen to the class. Poor teachers will stand throughout the day and teach. Have you seen in any class, the teacher will be sitting, all the students will be standing. Have you seen in any class? No. You go to uh, California, you go to, uh, you know, Harvard University, Cambridge University. There also teacher will stand and students will sit. So you can predict how classroom will be, whether it is Ananagar or it is America. Yes or no? Every house has a structure. Meaning, you can predict what rooms and all will be there in the house. So, you very well know that every house will have a kitchen, bathroom, dining room, living room, study room. It has at least three side walls and four side walls with doors, with windows. Like that, every house, whether it is Antilla, Antilla only know of Ambani, Antilla. Antilla of Ambani or our house in Amijikarai, everything will have the same thing. Only thing is a 27 floor for us, one floor. But everything is same only, no? Everybody eat three times a day, yes or no? I am Ambani, richest person in the country. I will eat ten times. No? In his house also, people will eat three times. And you know, they will eat only two times sometimes. Who told you to eat three times a day? Tell me. Why are you eating three times a day? I think every one of us will eat three times a day. Yes or no? Why? Is there any biological necessity that you have to eat three times a day? My doctor brother told that without food, you can be alive for 28 days. No food needed. Still, you will be alive for 28 days. Then why we are dumping food? Why obsession with eating three times a day? Who told you to eat three times a day? It is not even necessary. Today, people are going for intermittent fasting. They eat only two times. Afternoon, lunch they eat. Thereafter, they don't eat anything. No solid food. A friend of mine was doing this for last one year. He became so thin, lean. After six months, I saw him. He became quite obese. I asked what happened. He said he left that intermittent fasting. Why? It is not sustainable. I did that for one year and I was very slim, he told me. Thereafter, 
because of my work i cannot do like this i feel very tired i started eating now three times as usual i am eating so you may for some reason eat only two times but normally you start eating three times after something why or who told that you should eat three times it is not at all biologically needed for you to eat three times a day do you think that thousand years back people ate three times a day morning means idli afternoon means lunch full meals and dinner means chapati dosa having so many varieties of chutneys with sambar you go to restaurant five varieties of chutney and one two varieties of sambar you don't really need that no who told you to eat three times a day not biologically needed it is society which told you to eat three times a day maybe when you go to america what food you eat there will be decided by society in fact your desires are decided by society what you should like what you should not like is also decided by society a yeah, woman should like to be a homemaker she should not be ambitious even today families are not many families are not fully supporting their daughters to become ips officer or ias officer girl children are put in the science or computer science engineering or arts and boy will be put in courses like robotics nanotechnology aeronautical engineering so society is having a pattern this people should do that job that people should do this job yes sir so we have in biology the concept of structure spoken by spencer when he calls structure he says order there is an order present in the organism there are parts present in organism and these parts are connected to each other how they are connected to each other that can be easily predicted this is one of the most difficult concept which we use in sociology i am exposing that concept now itself because more and more when you get accustomed to the concept which seemingly appears tougher when you frequently understand read the concept it becomes so easy so when we come to the sociology course you will find that everything you know and it is only an extension of what you have already seen so your full sociology course becomes so easy because of this foundational knowledge you have your car is having a structure all cars will have only four wheels yes or no all cars will have only one steering wheel yes or no all cars will have four doors yes or no mostly so whether it is a car made in america or germany or france or india same thing will be there name of the car only will be there and this is why we say that there is always present pattern everywhere you can predict it pattern means something which is normal pattern means something which is regular pattern means something which can be repeated pattern means something which can be predicted pattern means order regularity 
so this will be like this only that will be like that only like that you are able to make prediction no you are able to make prediction because they are having some orderly arrangement of things when you go to a marriage you can very well predict that the groom is only tying the tali around the neck of the bride yes or no who will tie the tali around the neck of the whom in the marriage boy will tie around the neck of the girl in marriage whether you don't know that or when you go you see then you know before going to the marriage itself you know that or not so what is that when you can predict something that is pattern present in it so boy tying tali around the neck of the girl is a pattern eating food three times a day is a pattern men wearing dhoti and women wearing saree is a pattern in marriage the girl and the boy will wear silk clothes is a pattern in the marriage they will give you a big dinner or lunch is a pattern you go to a marriage after the marriage is over everybody will go to the dining hall and the marriage uh, uh, people those who conduct the marriage they have decided not to give lunch to the guest there will be commotion in the marriage hall sometimes there will be riot and all so normally we plan like this uh, see i don't want to have uh, you tell your mother mother i am going to a wedding reception so kindly you don't make food for me normally we tell that or not when you go to the wedding reception you you predict that they will give you a dinner and you tell the mother that don't make dinner i will have my dinner in the reception you go to the reception there is no food there and they say that we don't keep food for the guest so what will happen you know what will happen these people will be socially criticized everybody will criticize and why do you call us to bless the boy and the girl you have bless no go have idli at your home go means unexpected some people will get get heart attack if they say that there is no food in the marriage heart attack e vandro ayyo araya bere they plan before itself means ama kattu kattira vandi va whether they told whether they told while giving invitation food will be there whether they told it is a pattern it is a normal thing it is a regular thing whether the family belongs to economically lower class or economically higher class food will be served to the guest in the marriage rich or poor in the rich man house like ambani's house thousand varieties will be there silver plate gold plate will be kept in the poor man's house banana leaf will be kept that's all there it will be made out of gold here it will be made naturally that's all there and 500 items here only five items that's all but food will have to be served is a pattern it is a structure this will be like that only that will be like this only if we can tell that there is something called a structure in that so this structure concept of structure was given by spencer which was used by many sociologists including emile durkheim structure means a whole body having many parts and these parts are connected in a particular way 
everybody's body will be like this whole just because you are rich person you will not have three four heart you also will have one heart like any other person i am president of america you know i have 10 brains no that is not going to happen if you have 10 brains you are not a human being at all whoever you may be certain things will be there which is why you are called as human being so this concept that there is a whole body having parts and these parts are interconnected they are all interdependent that concept is called as structure this will be like this only that will be like this only this will be connected to that in this way that will be connected to this in this way who are the most irritable persons in the house you tell me after marriage who are irritable persons irritable relation tell me irritating relation after marriage solla mata unga veetla la solla mata ma sollunga hmm mother in law for whom hmm? for the daughter in law who is irrit irritation number 1 irritation number 1 is mother in law irritation number 2 sister in law right harmless father in law nalla ore ore the rendu na idu ella veetliy ipdi da every house this will be everybody's house there are certain relatives who are irritable relations irritable relations are there irritating relations so for a daughter in law mother in law is the irritation for mother in for mother in law daughter in law is the irritation so this is there in every family irrespective of the class irrespective of the caste irrespective of the race even in america it will be like that only so this you can predict or not 99 percentage of the mother in law is an irritation for daughter in law 99 percentage of the daughter in laws are irritation to mother in law and the poor person who is affected by both the parties happens to be the husband rendu pakkamu sikirva normally they equate this to matalam mm -hmm. from both sides that is why most of the families husbands will come late to the house ingiyadu poiru office ka after office he will go and sit in the park after everybody sleeps only he will come even some husbands are ready to compromise with their dinner saapade venda he will go and sleep most of the houses so even relationship can be predicted or not relationship can be predicted and for the daughter who is irritation you know for daughter father is irritation or mother is irritation mother will be irritation because she keeps on telling telling the daughter don't do this don't do that don't do this don't do that and you go and make a complaint against your mother to your father father says leave her why do you torture her leave her what dress she wanted to wear let her wear what is your problem no no don't give any leniency to the daughter tomorrow we will be criticized by the society don't give any lineage any leverage don't be lenient mother always will tell the father so any house xy is said this will be there is there any uh, is there any case where the husband did not quarrel with the wife or vice versa you 
you tell me a family where the husband and wife did not had any quarrel at all so far so quarrel is normal if there is no quarrel between husband and wife they have to go to the doctor and get a psychiatric counseling why don't you quarrel you quarrel then only it will be a family otherwise it will be a meditation center everything is quiet very quiet the uh, you know the wife will do her work the husband will do his work they are very quiet very calm then the others will tell you veetla rendu per pesave matanga pol there is some sort of marital discord between these two no yes or no so quarreling is normal so like love is normal quarrel is also normal what spencer told with respect to human being or organism living things that dirkim tells with respect to society even spencer told about society because he only told how society can be compared to an organism like organism has many parts which are connected to each other in a particular way and the whole is created society has many parts which are connected to each other in a particular way and the whole society is created so society cannot be reduced to the sum total of parts like organism cannot be reduced to sum total of parts so society is equivalent to organism this is what is called as organismic analogy and durkheim red spencer very much influenced by spencer accepted yes you are absolutely right family is bigger than the sum of the individual members in the family in the family there are four people father mother son daughter so family is equal to you cannot say family is equal to father plus mother plus brother plus sister in fact father plus mother plus daughter plus son made family once family came family is bigger than all the four so like human body cannot be reduced to sum total of the parts of the body society cannot be reduced to sum total of tell me individuals individuals will come together form the society but society is bigger than individuals that is why for the sake of society individual die for the sake of society individual is committing suicide der came rights about this how for the sake of society individual is killing himself plus 2 examination results came today yesterday definitely there are some people who failed in the examination and there will be many cases of those who failed in those cases there are some suicide attempts every time after the result came suicide case also will come why they should commit suicide failed in the exam is it failure of life once failed in the exam who told that the person will have to kill himself a girl named anita could not clear the neat examination she killed herself and therefore medical college in arielur came named after anita the hall is named after her why she should kill herself if not doctor you can become somebody nurse you can become you can make a living what is the problem 
only doctors will be alive means what about uh, other people who are not doctors we are also alive so who was putting pressure on anita society and therefore when she committed suicide who caused the suicide who is the cause of suicide society now society is trying to what society is the cause of suicide now society is trying to compensate that giving the name for the hall in the medical college when the chief minister made the announcement many appreciated or not of course some opposition party criticized but most of them appreciated so you as a society society is the cause of suicide after committing suicide society will celebrate the death of the person also you are the murderer you are also the compensator so this concept of how society is made out of individuals and these individuals have a particular type of relation with each other there is a structure in the relation between individual is becoming very important theme of durkin's social in a family father mother will have to speak to the children in this way not in that way we have do's and don'ts you can easily predict how father will talk to you how mother will talk to you how your siblings will talk to you whatever you talk to your friends you cannot talk that to your siblings whatever you are talking to your siblings you will not talk that to your friends so friends means like this only parents mean like this only sister means like this only brother means like this only teacher means like this only you have a pattern in every relation or not you have a pattern in every relation or not so in society you have people having patterned relation with each other how teacher is connected to the student there is a prediction i have to speak to you something i cannot speak to you some other thing i can speak something to my family not everything to my family so do's and don'ts are present in every relationship you think that he is your close friend and you started uh, telling everything to your friend you take the friend for granted and you pick up a quarrel with your friend now so every relation whether it is husband wife relation or parent children relation or friendship every relation has do's and don'ts so do's and don'ts can be called as what pattern you have to do something you should not do that thing you should do this thing how in this society there is a pattern existing between individuals is what is studied by sociologists especially dirk so dirk in sociology therefore is interesting he studies structure of society he studies structure of society in the next class we will talk about other sociologists after durkin who comes after that who comes so i am making some sort of connection <coughs> between the upsc sociology and that of academic sociology which is taught in the colleges the 
pre foundation class which we are having every tuesday will definitely make your sociology full course enjoyable for sure and there will be no problem as far as remembering will be considered because some students may think that a new subject how will i study i will forget now that problem and all will be resolved just go through right 